know that song by the Jackson 5 called ABC? I actually think it's about OCD. Hey guys, welcome to another Random Thoughts video. Yeah, I was just thinking about what could I talk about on this video. And I thought, hmm, what about my OCD because of what happened the other day. And all of a sudden, the song ABC started playing in my head, but instead of saying ABC, it was OCD, easy as one, two, three. And I'm like, that's about OCD. <laughs> and now I'm going to have that song stuck in my head all day. Great. So what happened the other day was, I've mentioned it on my vlogs before, where I've got this thing where, as I'm leaving the house, I check things. I check the plugs, make sure that they're switched off, what needs to be switched off. I make sure that the internet hub is switched off and things are unplugged like my laptop and whatnot. and also usually I check my fire to make sure that's off anyway I left for work around quarter past five through heavy traffic although most of it was going the other way and part of the way to work it suddenly started hitting me inside the head there going did you turn the fire off? <sighs> so I could not recall turning the fire off so I started having this little panic I don't not a panic attack I don't have them but a little panic of whether or not I'd turn my fire off so it got to the point where normally I'd just turn around and go back to go back home or come back home should I say because that's where I am <coughs> not a good idea to film a video first thing in the morning when you can't speak anyway but because the traffic was that bad I was like no, I'm not turning around to go home just to see if I've turned the fire off or not. But I was starting to get that flustered over it. I ended up pulling the car over, stopping, and I just sat there trying to remember, did I turn the fire off? Did I turn it off? And eventually I managed to convince myself that I had turned it off, because I always do. Usually. There's been one or two times where I've taken Harley out for a walk, forgetting to turn the fire off. But I'm only gone for like half an hour to an hour, usually, on them. Not that day, I was going to be gone for over 12 hours. But eventually I managed to settle my mind down and say, I have turned the fire off. And then I started remembering how I know this. Let me just show you the fire. As you can see, there's a light next to it. I knocked that off and it fell onto the floor in front of the fire. And I remember as I was picking it up, oh, it's a good thing I've turned this fire off, otherwise that might start melting. And that's when I suddenly remembered I had turned the fire off. Oh, this is what OCD does to me. I, I didn't even know I had OCD until a few years ago when a friend pointed it out to me. She said, y you've got OCD. And I'm like, well, how do you know this? And she says, well, because of your DVDs, they're all in alphabetical order. I'm like, well, how else am I supposed to find what I'm looking for? And she says, that's OCD. <laughs> Not totally in alphabetical order. Some of them, like, for example, recently I put all the Avengers films together. So it's like Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2... Thor, Captain America, and Avengers Assemble, and so on. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm not exactly happy about doing that. And yet, other films, like for example, I've got the Alien uh, films up there, and just before it, I've got Prometheus, and after it, Alien vs. Predator, but I don't have the Predator films after them. What's that all about? It's a weird thing. It's like these CDs, for example, these are my soundtracks, right? I keep them separate from the other CDs, my regular ones. And with these, I keep them in the order of the movie title or TV title, whatever it is. Unless it's a sequel or prequel, like the DVDs. Whereas the other CDs, I keep in the order of the artist. Like S for Slipknot and uh, E for Enigma or L for Avril Lavigne and so forth. But yeah, OCD. It does get me into a bit of a flap. At least I haven't got it really, really bad where I have to flip switches like on off on off like 600 times or whatever it is people or some people do but that's not all I'm going to talk about on this video I did say on the last one that I was going to answer some questions I've got four I actually got four questions but again if you guys want me to answer questions on these videos feel free to leave it in the comments below on this video or any video or on Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag ask Chris and with that being said I'm now going to answer those four questions which means I've got to go and get my laptop from over there. Hold on. Oh yeah, you're probably wondering why I've decided to film this on this chair. I think I'm going to film my random thoughts videos 
in different places all the time. Just to, I don't know, keep it different to what my, I usually do. But let's not go on about that. Okay, let's go to the questions. Okay, we've got a, a regular here. Ultimate Squid 21. Hi dude. Ask Chris, will you ever do a full behind the scenes of a Smeg Chris episode? As you can see, I can't read at all. Let me try that again. Will you ever do a full behind the scenes of a Smeg Chris episode? Not like an Unleashed, but it includes filming of scenes and editing, etc. Let me just talk about my Unleashed videos. It's very rare that I do them now. And they were basically behind the scenes of my videos. But I think what he's asking here is from the beginning to the end, like a proper behind the scenes thing. And I think maybe one day soon, I might do one of those videos and put it on this channel. You know, just like for example, a Smeg Chris, I'll, I'll show you from writing the script to, yeah, editing and all that. I don't want to go too meticulous because I, I've watched editing videos before and I just started doing this like, oh, you know. So yeah, I, I think I will at some point. Brandon Gomasol, what is your actual job? Like, what do you do? Ask Chris. My actual job, I am a team leader in a steel company. I work with furnaces and cryogenic freezers and I spend most of my time using a crane, uh, an overhead crane with the remote. I don't actually sit in a box with the crane. I mean, I'd like to, but we, we don't have that. We, we use remote controls. And basically, with the furnaces, I put the steel rolls that we work with into these things. A steel roll, <laughs> you know, like in a, a car factory and they have these steel mills and they have these rollers, we make them rolls. My job is to make sure that we get the right temperature on these rolls so that they become the proper hardness that the customer requires. I'm sort of like one small cog in a great big machine. And I've been doing it for... Hang on. 22 years. Kirke. Hi Kirke. He's a regular too. What are you going to do for 300 subscribers? Ask Chris. Um, say thank you. Have a coffee. <laughs> I don't really know what to do for things like that. I remember when I got 100 subscribers, I think it might have been Kirke or somebody else tweeted at me saying congratulations and I was like, huh? I'm at 100? I didn't even know, and I can't even remember where I was at 200, but I'm keeping an eye on the 300. We're nearly there. And just to point out, I'm talking about my second channel, my vlog channel, not this one. We've only just hit 100 on here. But what kind of thing would you like to see me do for 300 subscribers? I'm not doing any streaking. I just want to point that out. Last question. I found your channel through your Florida vlogs as I was going there myself that year. Did you prefer Florida or LA? And would you ever go back to Florida? Loving the videos, by the way. Your vlogs are now fully part of my nightly vlog watching. Oh, thank you. So going to the questions, did you prefer Florida or LA? I actually preferred Los Angeles. I think probably because it was the first time I'd gone abroad on my own. I think that's true. Yeah, I have. I had done a few holidays on my own before, like Scotland, but they're not exactly abroad. And from the moment, I landed in America, I just felt like this is home, especially Los Angeles. I don't know what it is about LA, I just felt so comfortable there that I loved absolutely every moment while I was over there. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy Florida, I did. And I think what it is with Florida is there is more to do than Los Angeles, I think, I feel. So uh, in that respect, in terms of doing things or having activities, Florida is better. But for me, I found Los Angeles was better. And would I ever go back to Florida? Of course, of course I will. And LA, hopefully next year I'll be going back to LA. I keep saying that every year. And that's it for the questions and me talking about OCD. I think this video might be long enough. <laughs> but again, if you've got questions for me, like I said, leave them in the comments or on Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget the hashtag Ask Chris. And now I'm going to finish this video so I can sit over there because my dog sat there and he's guffed, farted. It smells bad. Until the next time, peace out. <coughs> you dirty little.